Hey you guys, it's Frey Jenkins. Today I'm going to be talking about shark movies and what are good ones, what are bad ones. Um, there are really only a handful of good shark movies that I've ever seen. Let's see, there was Jaws 1, 2, Red Water was okay, Deep Blue Sea was okay. Uh, those are basically the only good ones. Um, there was this one that I saw was just okay. Um, Raging Sharks was alright. It had a lot going for it, but that, the stories about aliens, uh, I don't care for. But sharks attacking people out of nowhere is pretty cool. Um, everything, every other shark movie is not good. It's really not done very well. Um, I heard there was a couple good shark movies in 2000, like Shark Night, I heard was alright, Bait was alright, um, I don't know what they're thinking about, um, Sharknado? What are they thinking? People even asked if it was real, of course it's not real, they can't breathe air, you know, they need to be in the water because they're saltwater fish, that's what they are, and that was the, um, that was a mistake in red water because it's a great white, yet it's in a river. Yeah, a river. It's a, f it's not a freshwater fish. I still can't make sense of that. But it was an alright movie. Um, it had a lot of good acting, good action sequences. Um. I mean, at least it wasn't CGI like Shark Attack 3. That CGI was terrible. Um, yeah, um, the only thing I liked about Shark Attack was Casper Van Dien in the first one. He's pretty awesome. Uh, you don't see him around that much anymore. And I'm, I like Casper Van Dien. Um, he was even good in a couple of other terrible movies like... Skeleton Man, he was pretty good in that, but that movie sucked, um, I saw what they were gonna do with it, um, it, I would've been alright with it if they wrote it differently and gave it a better backstory, um, the acting was fine, the kills were fine, um, just the idea of it was fine, but they didn't give it a very good setup backstory for it, and, it had a lot going for it if they just gave it a backstory. Uh, let's see. Casper Van Dien was also good in Sleepy Hollow, and which was a pretty great movie. Um, what was the other one? Stor Stormship Troopers, Starship Troopers, something like that. Um, he was pretty good in that. He's a good actor. Um, in that and. I just did not like the CGI of it. The aliens, they... It looked cheap, and... Their... Army uniforms looked fake. He's a pretty good actor. He was also good in... Omega Code, Part 1. And... I have to say, he's pretty good. In that one, too. Yeah, like I said, you don't see Casper Van Dien around anymore. What happened to him? He was... I've seen him in a lot of stuff, and I'm like, wow, you know, this guy's a pretty good actor, considering he's in terrible movies. He should be. Like, see Thomas Howell. He's been in a couple terrible movies, like, let's see, um, Hot Boys is a terrible movie. Hitman's Run was alright, um, what is he doing in that Camel Spiders movie? Um, I do not like the CGI or even the story of it. What is he, what is the good actor doing in that? Honestly, I don't see how they get boosted into that. And I feel bad for them. Uh, but anyway, you're probably tired of me rambling on. Um, so yeah, the only good ones I've ever seen are um, Deep Blue Sea, Jaws 1 and 2, um, Red Water was okay, and... Raging Sharks was decent, but the story was lacking, and it was okay, I guess. Um, I did not like the idea of sharks growling, because they don't growl, and 
Anyway, aside from all that, I could forgive the movie, and I give it a 3 out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. It's not the worst movie ever made, but it's certainly not the best, and then again, stick to good shark movies like Jaws, Jaws 1 and 2, okay? And Deep Blue Sea. Peace out.